Hello, I'm Kevin Tanike, Vice President for Nature Conservancy Manitoba Region. I was going to take a few minutes to tell you about some of the impacts that your generous support has allowed Nature Conservancy to put out on the land. But instead, I think you should hear it directly from some of our staff out in their offices conserving biodiversity across Manitoba. It was awesome. I was like super excited. I hadn't done field work since 2019 probably, so it had been about three years. Um, and just getting outside and actually getting to go to a place where there was tall grass prairie and some really beautiful wetlands and stuff, it was awesome. I loved it so much. I still love it. <laughs> well, so for the first few years that I was surveying for Powsheek, I never saw one. So I was working on the species for several years before I even actually got to see one in person. And so the first time that I actually did, it was, it was amazing, it was incredible. They're just not what you expect when you haven't seen one. And it just, yeah, warm, fuzzy feelings. My favorite project over the last year has got to be taking student groups out to see some of these prairie landscapes. I had a group just out here uh, not too long ago. I had another group on a different prairie a few weeks ago. And I hope that our work gives them the opportunity to meaningfully experience those places and then to go forward and, and to work to protect them for the long term. Oh, I was really excited about the fact that we were able to secure the Broomhill Prairie in southwestern Manitoba. I love being out in prairies, those wide open spaces and the great diversity of grasses and forbs out there. As a plant biologist, I just, I, you know, it's exciting to get out there and see them and just to know that we were able to protect one more uh, remnant prairie on the landscape here in Manitoba was really exciting for me. That was probably the highlight of my last year. That's an interesting question and when I think about it, I think about people, people thrive when they're in nature. We've got living plants around us, we've got clean air, we have water behind us and so just having access to those, um, having access to nature and also knowing that there is other more I guess, pristine habitats that are out there in wilderness. We may not get to them, but knowing that there's somebody, some, all of us, I guess, taking care of that for the future. Yeah, I think a thriving world would be, would have healthy, uh, healthy diversity of healthy ecosystems <laughs> managed by people, but managed for biodiversity and for people to enjoy as well. And I think, yeah, with, thriving and healthy people as well, um, who are benefiting from those ecosystems being healthy. Who all is invited? Who's in that community? Everybody. <laughs> Bigger for me means like more, that's the obvious one, but it's also long-term. And I think that's really, really important, right? Um, we can think as big and expansive as we want, but we also need to think into the future. What's gonna happen with you know, our shared heritage with those lands. How are we gonna take care of it in the future? How are we gonna make sure that we can uh, help to maintain it and protect it long-term? So I think for me, bigger is, it's that and better is how you do that, right? And how do we make sure that we have, you know, the support and buy-in and also like the participation and cooperation of people who live on the landscape and, and know a lot about it. So that's also a big part of the better is, is the working with other people. Knowing that there's a community of donors that care about what we do and care about making sure that these landscapes stay for the long term, it's, I mean, it's really special. I would want them to know that their support means everything. It enables us to do this incredible work. Uh, it enables us to help this species that is just so imperiled that if, you know, we don't, if we aren't able to save them, they're going to be gone and we cannot do it without them. And I would love for all of them to experience seeing a pow chic as well. People don't always have the time. People don't always have the convenience. Um, but whenever they choose to donate to NCC, they, sh they should know that, you know, the people that are helping and them too, we all share a passion passion for 
wild things and wild places, clean air, clean water, and a, a better world. <laughs>